Shemot, Exodus 5. And afterward, Moshe and Naharan, rather, Ahran, Aharan, went in and told Pharaoh, Thus says Yahuwah, Elohai of Yashael, Let my people go, that they may hold at a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is Yahuwah? that I should obey his voice, to let et Yasharel go. I know not et Yahuwah, neither will I let et Yasharel go. And they said, The Elohim of the Ivrim has met with us. Let us go, we pray you, three days' journey into the desert, and sacrifice unto Yahuwah. Elohai knew, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. And the king of Mitzrayim said unto them, Wherefore do ye, Moshe and Aharon, let at the people from their works get you unto your burdens? And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. And Pharaoh commanded the same day at the taskmasters of the people and at their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick, as heretofore. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. And at the tail of the bricks, which they did make heretofore, ye shall lay upon them. Ye shall not diminish aught thereof, for they be idle. Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our Elohim. Let there be more work. Rather, let their more work be laid upon the men that they may labor therein, and let them not regard vain words. And the taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spoke to the people, saying, Thus says Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go ye, get you straw where ye can find it. Yet not aught of your work shall be diminished. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Mitzrayim to gather stubble instead of straw. And the taskmasters hasted them, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily tasks, as when there was straw. And the officers of the children of Yasharel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and demanded, Wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making brick both yesterday and today as heretofore? Then the officers of the children of Yasharel came and cried unto Pharaoh, saying, Wherefore deal you thus with your servants? There is no straw given unto your servants, and they say to us, Make brick, and behold, your servants are beaten, but the fault is in your own people. But he said, Ye are idle, ye are idle. Therefore ye say, Let us go and do sacrifice to Yahuwah. Go therefore now and work, for there shall no straw be given you, Yet shall ye deliver the tale of bricks. And the officers of the children of Yasarel did see that they were in evil case. After it was said, Ye shall not minish aught from your bricks of your daily task. And they met at Moshe and at Ahran, who stood in the way, 
as they came from Pharaoh. And they said unto them, Yahuwah, look upon you and judge, because ye have made at our savor to be abhorred in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of his servants to put a sword in their hand to slay us. And Moshe returned unto El Yahuwah and said, Adonai, wherefore have you so evil entreated this people? Why is it that you have sent me? For since I came to Pharaoh to speak at in your name, he has done evil to this people. Neither have you delivered your people at all, 